Hey guys, it's Sam. Um, this video is about uh, the copper band butterfly, Willie, named by uh, Susie. He's the white and yellow banded fish you see in the middle of the screen. Um, they are generally known to be pretty difficult to raise in captivity, uh, but I found that um, feeding them live blackworms is key to their success, and I will show you in this video. Let's get some blackworms here. In fact, um, Willie is so tame that he actually eats from my fingers. Uh, he's been with us for about a year now. And he's quite healthy. He exhibits natural behavior in his environment. He picks up the rocks when I'm not around. However, when I'm in front of the tank, he's very intelligent. He knows or he thinks that I'm going to feed them, so he always comes up to the glass begging for food. They are a bit sensitive <laughs> compared to most fishes in the, uh, regarding water conditions. For instance, they have to have uh, low nitrates. I found that is key. Nitrates, uh, high nitrates when I neglect the tank, if I'm busy with work or I'm out with friends. Um, I see Willie's a little stressed out and he starts pacing the glass. Um, salinity I keep at 1.025. Um, pH, uh, my tank is at 8.2. Calcium for the corals is uh, 400 ppm. Magnesium I keep at 1300 ppm. Uh, alkalinity I keep at uh, 9, 9 or 8. Um, I dose Calcwaster uh, every night. Uh, those are mostly for the corals, but uh, Willie here um, is happy. If the corals are happy, Willie's happy. Willie is so inquisitive that if I bring a rock from the sump, let's say, he loves picking at new rock. And he'll come and investigate it. See how he's investigating it? He'll go through all no the nicks and crannies, trying to find little bugs or anything of interest. And he'll, he'll really go after the rock. Let's put the rock back now. He's uh quite happy with black worms. If you have a copper band butterfly that's not eating and he's not too stressed out, feed them black worms. Might as well feed the rest of the tank here. You know the fish go crazy for them. I find that live foods are healthier for um, the reef tank in general rather than processed foods. I don't believe in flakes. It's the same thing as humans, I guess. Eating processed foods will give you problems. So I try to feed them frozen or freeze-dried or live blackworms, frozen uh, plankton, krill, mysis shrimp. Um, I have a ton of mysid shrimp, saltwater versions, in my sump and they reproduce regularly on their own. Copepods and amphipods are all over my rocks. So my tank itself has food, but I just try to feed them because it's fun just feeding them. Around. Here goes Willie. <laughs> Willie and Shaka have a little competition going here. Look. Willie's going round and round and round. He wants his food. Wow, he's fast. So, uh, you notice that the lighting is a little different. This, in this video, my tank looks a lot more cleaner in the video. I decided to turn my 250 watt, 14,000 Kelvin Phoenix bulbs off. And uh, only my T5 supplemental lights are on. And that low level of light is helping the video with its coloring. I think that the 250 watt light bulbs were overpowering it in the other videos it was just too bright I guess. And here you can see the corals and everyone in all of their glory. And their colors are extremely beautiful.
They're still begging for food. My bleeding apple that Susie got me for my birthday. There you have my uh, green polyps. They're pretty standard. Susie calls them boring, but those those corals specifically I've had for over 10 years now um, from my first reef tank that I've ever built. Some of these rocks, these live rocks, are from my older tanks as well. All right, that's it for uh, today's video about the hand feeding of Willie and raising of copper band butterfly. Um, I hope you have good luck with them. If you have any questions regarding um, reefing or the copper band butterfly in general, just shoot me an email and I'll be glad to answer your questions. All right, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.